glorious slashers in history. Hi, I'm Chucky. I'm Chucky. Hey, wanna play? Wanna play? I like to be hugged. I like to be hugged. Hi, I'm Tommy, and I'm your friend to the end. Heidi ho! Heidi ho! Ha ha ha! What up, fellas? What up, fellas? How's everybody doing tonight? What up, fellas? It's your man in the building, the Shave Lion King. Bro, I had to come back again. They blacked out my stream, by the way, just in case you didn't know. But I'm here to ask you a serious question. I hear a lot of people say this. I hear a lot of people say that. And I'm here to ask the question to you today. Does semen retention really work? I'm going to use my example, okay? I'm going to use my example. I want to share a story with you guys. Some of you might know it, but I'm going to reiterate it. And I want to, to ask yourself by looking at me, does semen retention really work guys there was a time bro that i used to be addicted to this stuff that we called corn okay the last time that i fapped brothers the last time that i fapped brothers was in 2017 okay it's been a long time for me bro okay so 2017 was the last time your man fapped bro Okay, I'm talking about to any of that stuff or to myself like that. All right. And I remember back in those times, bro, on how gross I felt, bro, every single time that I did that, man. Okay. I felt gross, bro. All right. And this didn't have nothing to do with like who I felt as a person. It's just something that I can't explain it. It just came upon me, bro. Every single time I would get that feeling and I was like, oh, you know, you feel good. You're just like, yes. And then all of a sudden, as soon as that feeling starts to subside, here comes all that guilt. Here comes all that shame. Okay. And we know what this does to us as men, bro. It just adds more weight on our back that we already got. Okay. It's one of those things, man, where it has so many draws to you, okay? It draws you your energy for so many different ways, bro, all right? This is some serious stuff, and I remember the last time that I did this act and how I felt and what the Most High showed me, and what was it? Was I, what was it that I was shown? Let me tell you what I was shown. Let me reiterate for some of you who have never heard me speak on this topic before the last time that I fapped. Okay. I went on the site. I decided I was going to, you know, release my energy. Okay. And the funny thing that came into my mind too also was think about how many, how much time we spend on these sites. Think about how bad off some of us are and some of us still are because these sites are not designed for you to go on there okay for your little five minutes of pleasure and get off like you get in a real woman okay no 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 this site has a way of keeping you there stealing your energy minute by minute as you scroll through endless pages of filth and trash and then when you became such a loser and you've gone through the complete libraries of the filth and trash, your mind gets converted and then you want to go and become even more of filthy trash. So as you start jumping into all these different genres and watching disgusting stuff that's not supposed to be happening, okay? Stuff that is not normal. And this is how this act and all this energy can affect you in a negative way because now you've changed who it is that you're supposed to be, okay? You, you are now somebody, bro, who has damaged their psyche, okay? You have mental issues, okay? When you understand how severe what we're doing out here as men every single day in this world, how 
jeopardizing it is to your life. You will wake up faster than if you got another chance to be brought back in this world for some kind of, you know, unfortunate situation. All right. You have the chance, bro, to not live a life that 99% of the people in this world are living. Okay. We see what's going on in our society. <clears throat> we see what's going on in our society. We see what's going on out here, okay? And I don't want to be a part of it. So back in 2017, I changed my life for the better. I decided I was never going to go back, bro, to who it was that I used to be because I hated that feeling. It made me feel so nasty. It held me down, bro. It held me back, bro. It took so many years away from me, man. It set me back, bro. It took from me, man. It changed my path. It changed my character. It changed my personality. It didn't make me a caring person. It made me very selfish and egotistical. And now that I'm here on this side of the veil, looking back on my life, I am so happy with my life and the way that I'm living. I am at peace. I'm in joy because I'm finally here. I'm here to a point where I'm just existing. I'm not here taking from anything. I'm lightly treading in this world. I'm merely here to make a change and transcend. I'm not here to accumulate karma like most of us do. I start to see things differently. I understand what they mean by true one percenters. I understand why they came up with the slogan chosen ones because they really want to see who the real chosen ones are. And I promise you one thing, your real chosen ones out here, bro, are not going to be famous. And if they, if they were, they got thrown in jail at some point. And that's on everything that I love. Because this, this energy right here, bro, okay, creates that, all right? It takes you on a different path in life. This is why, where they say you unplug from the matrix, okay? They give you hints in movies like leave the world behind, okay? They're telling you to leave the world behind, okay? Same thing, they're telling you unplug from the matrix. Because when you do, you understand that you really don't need anything. You understand that uh, you're whole, you're, you're, you're fulfilled, you're complete. You're not needing anything of this world to make you happy, to make sure that you're going to live, you know, the best life that you can live on the day to day. The number one thing that's so powerful to me is the control of emotions, the control of thoughts. They tell you it's a superpower because you can control you can control this body to the highest degree. You can control this body, okay, better than anything or anyone in this world can control, okay? And this is why that's important, okay? Cuz bro, you you are able to make sure that this body is going to reach its fullest potential, okay? And that right there, bro, should motivate anybody to do this because it is life, completely life changing. I have evolved so far from this person, bro, was in the past that was doing all of these things, who was releasing this energy, who was feeling these type of ways, all right, who was having dysfunction in many type of ways, okay? But I decided to go back within. Okay, and fix all of that. 
And the number one thing that I stopped because it was the number one thing standing out like a sore thumb. Okay. Sure. There was plenty of other things that would make me feel, you know, you know, emotions at time, because that's when I, you know, was not old enough to understand, bro, how to control this. Okay. And the number one thing is you cannot control this or master this type of emotions, bro, without retaining your seed. It's impossible. All right. When I tell you that these guys walking around here are some real ascended masters that are holding their seed, you think I'm capping. Okay. A lot of these people are walking around out here on seed retention are these people, bro. Okay. I see them every single day on YouTube, bro. All right. So when I, I when I tell you that all we've done is awaken many others, all right, to things, to knowledge, to information that they have forgotten, okay, and to me, that works more than anything, any remedy, okay, any program someone could sell me, and I got it all for free. Because I decided to stop listening to every single thing in this world. Create your own world. I don't, I don't see how that doesn't make sense. Drop everything you know. Listen to me right now. Drop everything you know and create your own world. You're going to run into a life where you just are existing. You can you can navigate any situation. You're not tripping on anybody, bro. You're happier, okay? Your life just flows like water, bro, okay? You're just shapeless and formless, bro, just like water, bro. And you're able to go with any situation, and this is why people like you. This is why people respect you. This is why your life becomes so great, and a lot of people don't like that because, like I said, most people, bro, still have not understood, bro, on how to go within, all right, and achieve the status that these people are achieving, all right, because it's going to make you, whether you want to or not, okay, be somebody, all right? You can try to be low key as with it as possible, but so, someone who runs into you, Someone who experiences your energy, someone who is in your aura is going to try to form some type of communication with you because they just feel your energy. When I tell you, bro, that this happens to me every day and I see guys too, I've met so many guys off the fly. When I tell you the weirdest things happen, bro, like I've met some, just some weird, some weird stuff, bro. Like I just, I'll give you this one example. I was just looking down this one time and I'm sitting here cleaning the wheels on my car, right? Not paying any attention, bro, right? I turn around, bro, and I see this guy walking with this other guy, okay? They're not even looking at me. I'm not looking at them. I just happen to turn around and catch him, right? And as I turn around and catch him, I froze. No, this is this is how I know this person was somebody. I froze. It was like my spirit gave this other guy's spirit attention. This is the best way I can explain it, bro. Okay? I turn around and I froze. Why would I? He's just some regular dude. Okay? And no, he wasn't. It, it had nothing to do with looks or nothing. No, he was an older dude. But I just turned around and froze. And I stood up. And he immediately locked eyes with me, bro, and walked. And it was like he identified me, bro. And we walked over. We started talking. And within our first few sentences to each other, we were already on the same vibratory frequency, bro, and walking the same path and the same walk, okay? That to me right there, bro, is crazy, Okay, because I didn't I never had that kind of connection. I've never felt that type of energy with anybody else before. Okay. Never in my life have I experienced something like that, bro. Okay. And then it's just been happening more so with women, but with the guy, that was unreal. Okay. Unreal. And one of the most amazing dudes that I've met too. Just like, bro, it man this has changed my life so much okay 
that if anybody out there tries to hinder this man is just going to be in their lower negative energy, bro, and not really care about the truth. Okay. This is the truth about life, bro. All right. And you feel every single day. Amazing. There is, when I tell you amazing, amazing, but you would rather feel amazing for only five minutes when you can feel amazing almost every single day, depending on who you are. Once you've learned how to control this energy, bro, once you learn how to control this energy, bro, you're going to control every single thing else about yourself, including your emotions and your feelings, bro. All right. It's no more beta male. It's no more sucker boy. Okay. It's masculine you. Okay, who steps into the building, bro, and is now running things. All right. You don't chase your patient. All right. You are locked in, bro, to who it is you really are. You are truly walking this path alone. And that makes you create a different world within a world because you don't meet people like you. It's not saying uh, nobody else is not going to be able to come into your world. That's not what it's saying. It's just saying, bro, that you create your own world, bro. Okay. And now you're creating your own rules. And now you're seeing how you don't like the outside world and how the outside world is trying to hinder your growth as a whole. Okay. You are, you become aware. And this is how I know it's just so many confirmations on what this has done to my life, you guys. Okay. And now I'm just reaping every single thing that I've sowed, all the goodness, all the praise, all the good compliments, all the flattery, bro. I wasn't having this flattery before I was doing semen retention. <laughs> Y'all think it's a joke. I didn't have this flattery. I'm always been a decent looking guy, but I've never had the flattery, bro. Okay. And I just told you for it to happen so far along in my life, it just makes me smile even more. Okay. Because it's, it's bro, you got to learn how to take it though. Okay. You can't be one, one of these people who are going to eat it up and just let it continue to fuel, you know, maybe some narcissism. You have to be careful. Okay, but the flattery, bro, for a man, it's 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 almost surreal, bro. It's almost unreal. <laughs> it's almost unreal, bro. And it's like almost every day. It's crazy, bro. And I'm not doing anything different. I told you, I'm just I'm just sporting my pure defunk. My pure my 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 pure defunk. I'm sporting that. Okay, my funk de pure. I'm sporting that. Okay, I got two different kinds. Okay, I got the left armpit and the right armpit. Okay, all right. I throw. I go to the gym. I will wear that bad boy for two, three days, and I'll throw it in the damn uh, washer, and I'll leave it there for two more days, and then I'll come out there and I'll just rub that shit all over my clothes. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding, y'all. I'm just kidding, man. I'm just kidding. All right. But yeah, bro, I'm going to be selling that here in the future, bro, because listen, man, on the real, guys, on the real, man, on the real, this is just going to make you stand out. You're going to be that person that you desire to be, bro. Okay. There is nothing realer about this, man. I have not gone back to that person that I used to be, bro, in 2017. I have no longer looked back. Okay. I could have been doing anything. Like I told you, I could have been doing anything. I could be out here making social media videos that add to the trash. I could be out here doing stupid rap songs. Okay. I could be out here doing stupid stuff, but instead I'm doing the hardest stuff because I'm trying to prove to you that this is what it does to you. And as a man, if you're trying to tell me that you don't want discipline in your life, bro, then you might not be a real man, okay? You might not be a real man, and I don't want you defending me or my country, okay? You ain't a real man. And around here, we're going to learn how to be a real man. And how you be a real man, bro, is by stop wasting your life force energy so you have something to fight with. It's simple.
If I was running the show, if you was in here and your levels were depleted, guess what, partner? We would not be picking you up to run. <laughs> You'd be sitting over there all day, bro. All right, showing off that little broke J, bro, hoping somebody going to pick you up. That's what it's like, bro, when your balls is empty. That's what it's like, bro, when you're depleted and you're defeated, bro. You just don't got it, man. You just don't got it, man. Okay? That's what happens, bro. All right? And this is, this is why we want the sharp ones. This is why we create armies of real men over here, bro. Okay? This is what it does to you. All right? And on everything that I love, bro, on everything that I love, man, when you start to do this, bro, just watch. Just watch how the outside world is going to start to respect you, okay? Because most of them are not even going to know what you do, okay? It's, it's, it's best to not tell too many people what you do because that's how you get, you know, haters that you don't need. Okay, haters that you don't need. So don't tell everybody what you're doing because that's how you get haters that you don't need. Okay, but instead, bro, all right, show them by example. All right, walk your walk, show the growth. They see you one week, you look super good. They see you three weeks later, three weeks later, you look even better. They see you a month and a half, two months later, they be like, damn, every time I see him, he look better. Every time I see him, he's sharp. He's in shape. He got a chiseled jawline. He got his chin up with his chest out. My man is clean every single day. That right there, bro, puts a fire in me, man, every single day to know that that's the type of energy that I'm walking around with. Ooh, it's so much confidence, bro. You got to be careful. It's so much confidence that you got to be careful because people won't like you. Instead of get on the same journey as you to feel like you, they're not going to like you. That's some backwards-ish, ain't it? Ain't it? So that should tell you how much that this actually works, bro. It works miracles on the average man, bro, okay? It is the best supplement, bro, that you don't have to go buy, all right? You guys act like our bodies aren't worth millions and millions of dollars as people, okay? We understand, you know, b b just because of the health issues that we have here in this country on how expensive medical bills can be. Now, imagine your medical parts. <laughs> imagine how expensive that's going to be. So you have this body, bro, all right? that you should be taking way better care of, man, because it's expensive body, bro. It is a one-of-a-kind gem. You're not going to get another one, bro. That's what they should have told you. They should have really drilled that into our heads as you, you're not going to get another one. And if you keep yanking that pump and you keep releasing all your gas, guess what? There's no refills around here, okay? So once you've pumped out all your gas, bro, you're done for. All right, you're done for unless somebody's going to come up to you and let you siphon, but that doesn't happen too often. All right, you're done for. Instead, you could be going on this journey long term in your life, bro, carrying this energy with you, bro, to help you create your life, to give you that spark, that energy, okay, that confidence, bro, to be able to conquer whatever you want, to be able to achieve whatever you want and feel happy about it. And don't expect anything. So everything that comes to you is 10 times like it does comes to you, bro. You're even more ecstatic about what it is that you're doing because you're not even expecting it. But this is the law of attraction, bro. This is LOA. This is the way it works. You get rewarded. So let me get this straight. You get rewarded, which is going to take you out of your low negative vibration energy. Okay, it's going to take you right up out of there, all right? It's going to raise you up in your higher chakras, bro, all right? It's going to make you start feeling good. It's going to create somebody that you ain't never seen before. You you still playing the same character. Where do they do that at, bro? Where do they do that at? Don't they make new shoes every day? Don't they make some kind of new style every day? 
I don't see nobody rocking something from 10 years ago. I don't see everybody doing that. People pretty much keep up with the styles, bro. So why is it that you're going to keep up with yours? Why ain't you upgraded? Why ain't you put in the time, bro, to hustle, the energy, bro, to upgrade your avatar? Huh? You haven't changed your tab in 10 years, bro. You haven't renewed your car since 1999. What are you doing, bro? You're still stuck. You're still low vibrational, bro. You are still stuck, bro. And you don't want to shine. You ain't ready to step out here, bro, with your confidence, bro, and show the world. You know how many people there are in this world? And you content with just showing the people in, in your city or your town? Man, is you crazy? Is you crazy? You see, this is why I don't understand y'all. Y'all don't understand the celebrity energy. Y'all don't understand the superstar energy, bro. Because if you did, you would not be settling for Nathan. Bro, you are a god out here walking amongst people who are sheep. You have the power, bro, to influence. You have the power, bro, to create. You have the power to attract whatever the hell you want. And you're sitting here as a retainer, comfortable? Really? You, you, you giving up? You, bro, did you make it to your destination? Yes or no? And most of us are going to say, no, most of us are going to tap out, bro. And that's disappointing as a man. And this is what I'm talking about. This is why you must do this because it's going to make you, bro, become the greatest version. You have no choice but to go forward. You don't go backwards once you get on this. There is no turning back, bro. And I want you guys to really, really take what I'm saying seriously. Because I tell no lies. I am not up here capping. I'm up here telling you how it's supposed to happen. And you got to stop playing, man. And get a little taste of this, man. So you can go out here, bro, and feel just like I do every single day. And then you can appreciate. And when you appreciate, bro, you want to show your appreciation back. So you go out here helping people, inspiring people, giving back to the world, and that only creates a better karmatic life for you in this one and any other one that you decide to come back to. And that's on everything. So this is why this journey is absolute paramount, bro. This is why you must do this. I don't know anybody in their right mind, bro, that still want to be wearing some damn sneakers from 2005, Okay. The same raggedy ass sneakers, bro, where the sole of that mug is just tore the hell off and smell like some moldy ass cheese. That's what you, you still messing with that energy, bro. Instead of dusting those dusty ass J's off, bro. All right. And going out to the new fresh market in 2024 and copping the top on the line, the top of the line, what they got out on some J's. Come on, man. You know you really honestly want to do that. And you can sit here and do that, bro, with your own energy. You could change your life today. But you got to take this seriously, bro. Of course, it's going to be some hard work. Tell me where they do that at. Tell me where anybody just gets instantly to the top. You're going to have to put in some kind of work. You're going to have to create your character. You're going to have to put in the time, bro. But guess what? This is There's nothing more that I've ever done that is, has been more worth it, okay? Because now I'm at a point, bro, like I told you, I'm in the game for real, all right? I'm out here inspiring people. My energy is hitting people for real, all right? I'm attractive for real, bro, all right? And I want other people to do it. I'm not up here being stingy, bro. I'm not up here hiding secrets. I'm not up here ch charging you no money, bro, for the, for the real um, gems that I'm giving. I'm not charging you nothing. I'm giving it all to you for free because on the back end, believe me, partner, it's going to come back. All right. 
and you've been wasting your time being a low vibrational negative person who ain't never trying to work on themselves. You're looking outside yourself. You're going for other people to seek help. You're going and paying um, all sorts of therapy people, bro, when all you need to do is stop all the bull crap in your life. Create your own world. Shut everything out that you've ever known and relearn. And when you do that, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, you become the weirdo. You become the insane one because you're not doing what everybody else is doing. You finally got the damn beer goggles off and now you got the retention goggles on. So you can see all the bull crap that's going on, bro. And all you want to do is try to tell everybody that Freddy Cougar and Chucky's coming after him, but everybody want to sit back and laugh. They want to be like the dudes, bro, in a scary movie and hit the bong and laugh and be all goofy until they get hooked up their butt. This is what they want to be like, bro, instead of wanting to know the truth. It's like a dream that you can't wake up out of. But I promise you this, if you just stay focused, bro, and don't worry about all that and create your own world like I told you, man, be on on that island beyond that ocean that ocean bro in your little raft bro you created that so it ain't nothing in the water you created that you just want it that's the scenery that you want that's the backdrop that you want all right you created that it's peaceful that is the route that you would rather take in life bro okay then the go the one that you are continually beyond trust me on everything that i love bro on everything that I love, bro, okay? On everything that I love, bro, okay? Over over money, over egos, over women, bro. On everything that I love, bro. This is what you're going to want, especially living in a place like we live here in America, all right? That's what you're going to want. I ain't telling you you can't take your raft and create a beautiful lady on an island that you, you know, go, go rescue and she's a damsel in distress. You can do that too, you you're you're the creator bro you you're holding sexual energy bro you're imagining it and it comes to fruition it's the way it works that's the way energy works so now that you understand that you're this conductor you're this person bro you're this magical creator bro of your own life and it all starts with the life force energy. So I know, I know without a shadow of a doubt, without anybody trying to come in here and tell me, I know semen retention works. Oh, it more than works, bro. And here's the thing. It don't cost you a damn thing. But let me get it straight. Every other so-called so fapping, ball-headed, receded hairline, red pill, dating coach, is trying to sell you information, but you want to go take the information on how to pick up a woman. Low vibrational. Low vibrational. Okay? Do not... Just just weak. Just lost all its masculine traits. Trying to take a shortcut, all right, to something like that, all right, shows you where you're at. Instead of becoming a man, retaining your nuts especially when you don't have nothing going on you want to so let me get this straight you're not in any kind of any kind of relationship you're not seeing any chicks okay but you sitting back in a chair in the middle of the night all right quiet as can be on your knees scuffing your knees all up because you 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 know you leaning all the way back trying to get that one off okay weak low sperm count ass all right, super receding hairline, look like a damn horseshoe ass, broke, disgusted, busted, booty crack, funk smelling, disgusting, cringy ass nails from scratching between those disgusting, chafy, smelly ass, wet, disgusting, puke infested, ticks and maggots crawling all over your ball ass nigga. Instead of doing that man, bro, you just say, you know what? You know what, man? I'm cool with all that. I'm step back, man. I'm a, I, I'm a step back, bro. You know, 
because I understand that this is how I'm living. I, I I'm gonna take I'm gonna take responsibility. I'm gonna step up as a man, bro, and I'm gonna take responsibility for the way I've been living. All right. I know all it is that it is I need to know. This dude just broke it down to me. This dude just sat here and told me all about myself. He don't even know me. If he came over right now, it would smell like hot Cheetos and farts in my room. And I got one of them old flicks in the VCR. And I got one of them, them DVD you know, flicks for my backup. Okay, that thing's in my Nike shoe box. Okay, in my closet. Okay, it's the third box on the top. Got a couple discs in there. And then, yeah, I got this couple of these flicks, too, that, you know, I, I got up, I got uploaded on my little broke-ass laptop. So you already know that this is how these people are. This is the average person, bro, All right? They've already told us with statistics that 92% of the people are indulging in this crap, Okay. So that means we have a lot to work to do, a lot of messages to spread to be able to help people wake up, man. All right. So you guys got to stay strong. You guys got to continue to go on your journey. You guys got to inspire. You guys got to stay, you know, in your frame and want to be leaders, bro. Okay. All right. It's not for everybody, but I promise you, man, I promise you, it's the most rewarding thing that you will ever do in your life, bro. Okay. There is no, I, I, there's bro, no girl could be, bring me to the feeling that I get from helping others, from being a happy light in other people's eyes. Okay. Because whether it's a compliment of someone liking you, whether it's a compliment of someone giving you a compliment about your clothes or maybe your personality of who you are, you are changing someone's happiness, their emotions, their energy towards you. Okay. That is something that is the most amazing energy that most of you will never be able to, you know, experiment with, unfortunately. All right. And this is why one of the main reasons I want people to do it. Okay. I want people to do it because you're going to have no idea who's going to come out here. I can't, like I told you, I can't wait to see the next guys that are, are really out here doing some amazing things and they're going to credit retention for all of their, you know, the things that they've achieved. I can't wait to start seeing that, bro. Okay, we're already getting close. We see so many new faces on here talking about retention, bro. All right? And pretty soon, we're going to see somebody create some more amazing stuff, including myself. All right? So it's best to tap in. It's best to know all these people who are out here in the SR community, bro. All right? Respect these guys for what they do on their journey. You might not like them, then that just means you just don't need to watch them. Okay? Don't be over nowhere on nobody's channel spreading no negative type of energy. Okay? All y'all need to knock it off. There should be no negative comments on anybody's pages. All right? You people who are leaving the negative comments, whether you're paid trolls or not, even if you're a paid troll, you took money. You sold out to hate on somebody. Okay? It doesn't matter who you are. Fix yourself and fix your energy, bro. Okay? Raise your vibration. Raise your frequency. Okay? Because it's inevitable for us to do that as a species. And you don't want to be one of these people that get left behind. Done, guys. I'm about to get up out of here. I appreciate you guys for being up in here, man. I love you guys. Make sure you guys take care of yourselves. And I'll talk to you guys on the next one. Have a good day, fellas. Peace, man. All your nigga friends, these motherfuckers will interrogate you more than the goddamn police did. They had your ass on the phone. Where the fuck was you at? What the fuck was you doing? Why the fuck you ain't calling? Not your white friends. Them motherfuckers will be there by the time you hang up the phone and they'll be madder than you. Just what the fuck did he do? Murder, murder, dude. Look, I fucking known him for two weeks. He wouldn't fucking do something like that. You gotta love white people. I don't give a fuck what you say. White people are friendly. You can call them motherfuckers up at 3 o'clock in the morning with the wrong number and they won't even be mad at you. They just... Hello? No, I'm sorry. No Shaquita here. Well, what number did you dial? 
No, it's a nine, not a seven. We'll try it. If it doesn't work, call me back. We'll figure this thing out. chance we can ever be together only if you could promise me you'll never die you know I can't promise that if you did that I would make love to you right now I promise I will never die